Hi, I'm Heather from Paint a Real Fiber Arts, and today is Monday in our PJs Yarn Chat Podcast. Hi, everyone! I hope your weekend was really good. I know mine was and everything. So I will be um, first talking about my finished objects, and then I will be talking about what's going on with me and everything. Um, I am feeling a little better than the last podcast. I still have a stuffy nose, but I am feeling much better. So I just think it's just a mini cold that I have going on. Hopefully it goes away really fast, like it feels like it is. And I'm super happy about that. So let's go on with uh, what I have over here. <laughs> All right, so this is, uh, um, I didn't have a lot of things made, but I do have a couple. Um, I, a few podcasts ago, I made this cute little bat, Missy the Bat. And the original pattern had like pipe cleaner legs with these like claws and it had like pipe cleaners going through the wings and I made the wings a little different and then I added um, arms on it and made the ears a little different and um, even the face a little different so it's com it's similar to the pattern but not really and then I made a blue one that's in dolphin blue it's the color from paintbox yarn 100% cotton yarn and DK weight this is the same kind of yarn brand and in type it's just done granite gray the ears have vintage pink these have bubblegum pink what else is different uh, oh yeah the eyes this one has blue eyes this one has black eyes they are both in uh, four millimeter eyes from 6060 eyes just these are hand painted and these are just the regular black eyes the nose and mouth are both hand embroidered with just a embroidery floss is in a pink color and a black for the mouth then that's pretty much the difference and the size difference like this one's way bigger than this one that's the other end <laughs> so the original pattern that I that I was using and that I was making was I just made it smaller it was due to having a bigger crochet hook I think as well as just making it a little bigger doing the putting the head on the body a little different than this one and so forth and it just came out super super cute adorable both of them are very hand sized they do sit up nicely on your hand but it's kind of hard to tell when I'm in oh there we go so that's the gray one that's the back and this one's the blue one so they make a very desk accessory I thought as well as if you want to hang it up on your Christmas tree or on your wall or if you want to hang it up for Halloween or any kind of season it doesn't have to be a holiday or anything you could just hang it up around your house and make it look fine like my dad wants me to make him a gray one with black wings and I'm gonna make the feet a little different I'm gonna make some claws on it just uh, and then hang it up he wants to do the way that you make this is pretty much just single crochets, just increase, decrease. You make the body, you make the head. They're two separate pieces, and you connect them together. You then uh, you can connect them together whatever way that you want to do, or the way the pattern does is they say they slip stitch it shut. I mean, whip stitch it shut, and then um, connect the two bodies together. So the two pieces are both shut, and then you connect them. I think it's better if one of them is opened a little and then you connect the, like the body open and you connect it over to the head and the head is the one that's shut. You put the eyes on and you embroider the face, you put the eyes in, then you can hand embroider the nose after you stitch the head together and put the mouth on or you can put it on before. I say do the nose after so then you can see how it looks when it's stuffed so it's in a better position and then put the mouth on after because if you put those on, if you put the, like the mouth on before the nose, then the mouth might go in the wrong spot. That's all. Another thing that I ended up doing was um, I just did some color changing with the yarn in here. They say to hand embroider it in the pattern. That's what the girl says. I'm not, not they or the girl, the, the lady that designed it. <laughs> she uh, it says hand embroider it, but I think it's better just to do some color changing there as well as um, she didn't, she had the different, she had claw-like legs and I just did single crochets working around X amount and then I just did around and around and just created a leg. Same thing for the arms and she, hers had no arms. Instead of doing the pipe cleaner version of it, I just added a couple more single crochets across the back and did pretty much the same thing that she did. Just made it longer and the two wings connected together, not made on two separate sides. You could do that or you could just make two two separate wings if you don't want the back piece like 
if you don't want to sew it onto the back like that, you could just make two separate pieces. And then just like she says to do with, instead of putting the pipe cleaners through, you just do chain X amount, and then you do single crochets, and you do this, the same amount of rows, and then you sew it on here, and you do them a certain amount, and then you make another wing you can do, or you could do this straight across like I did. Either or, it works out really well. It was super easy really easy to understand kind of pattern. I really liked making these little bats. They are for sale in my shop right now in the Etsy store. I have added some more items in there that I will talk about at the end. I also, um, so right now this one's the one that's in the picture. I haven't taken photos of this one yet. That will be soon and it will be up in my shop as soon as possible. So if you don't want to crochet one and you really want to buy one, you could just go to my Etsy shop and there you go. <laughs> and with every order, you get a free um, Star Buddy, which is just a mini, uh, I mean, Garami Star with a cute little happy face on it. And you get one free per order. Next things that I made, as I made another marshmallow, I made it blue this time. It's going to become a s'more that's blueberry flavored or blue colored marshmallow with um, chocolate topping and just graham crackers. It's gonna look super cute and adorable. I hope it's pretty much The way they make these little marshmallows is you just do single crochets and then you create like a, a back loop and then you do the height and Then you do single crochets increasing and that's how you create the top and then you do the back stitch and then you do the um, single crochet through the back loop and then you just go single crochets X amount to create the size for the height and then you do decreases to create the bottom actually this was the original the first way and then this would be like the bottom which ends up being the top and then you just whip stitch it, whip stitch it shut after you go down to six single crochets and then, uh, after, and then you stuff it before all that and then you stuff like when you're at a certain point so that way the opening is big enough and then you slip stitch down to six single crochets stuff as you go is a good method just stuffing it so you add single crochets and and then it creates a nice layer of stuffing it makes it super soft super squishy it's super nice and easy to um easier to stuff and that way you don't have a gap like in the bottom if there is like a skinny narrow opening then you might have a little gap that you can't get into or if something's pointy you can't get it in there it's best to do it as you work it as you go i also put a little wooden circle they're like this little i'll show you how they look in one of the podcasts sometime and i just it's like that thick and it's super thin and it's not that big and then you put it in the bottom of your marshmallow so then it lays more flat and it's not so bubbly like the top here is more bubbly and the bottom is more flat so when it's sitting in your s'more if it's sitting on a desk it doesn't fall over or do this thing thing too i like doing that to them i didn't i haven't been doing it in the ones i i sold before but i will be doing that with the newer s'mores because i just think it makes it better if it's laying on a desk or if it's an ornament or if, even if it's a keychain, it just makes it more flat inside the um, graham crackers, so that way it's not so way too puffy looking. Also, another thing you gotta watch out for is do not overstuff them, because if you do, then um, it will just be way too puffy <laughs> and really hard to get the effect of melted chocolate on there, as well as to get it inside of the graham cracker and stitch down in a nice way that you don't see all the stitches and stuff that most of them are hidden and you see the bare minimum it just looks nicer if you don't overstuff it and it looks more like a s'more when you put the two tops on so then because it squishes it a little or if it's just in your hand you just see oh it's just squishy and just puffy but when you put the graham cracker tops on it it does squish it a little that's the other nice thing about having the little piece of wood in there or cardboard or plastic or whatever you want to put inside there to create a little circle you could also put one on top I just put one on the bottom because that's the main purpose but if you want to put it on the top just to make it look identical or the same you could do that but you could also create it looking the same by just not overstuffing it's super fun easy to do these are with eight millimeter black safety eyes from 6060 eyes and embroidered mouth with 
just a embroidery flask from the local craft store. And the blue colored yarn that I used is um, Katona yarn, and it's just a bunch of numbers, and it's Katona Sheep Cheesy yarn, and a bunch of numbers is the way they do it. It's like a light aqua blue. Super pretty. I like the color blue, so this is one of my favorite colors of blue, actually. This is, um, the next thing I'm going to show you is something that I was playing around with yarn again and I ended up making a cute puffy fish. I do want to give it a fin on top, but I like it how it is so far. It has little fins here, it has a tail. It's made with this light purple yarn, which is from uh, Katia Yarns. It doesn't didn't have a name, but it was in one of the Katia packs that I got from their Amigurumi yarn. And it is a, just this lightish purpley that has like a pink tint. It's super pretty. So I like the tail. I love the fins. I love its cute little mouth. I want to put a little fin on top. And I think that it will be super fun uh, and adorable to continue making in, in every color of the rainbow. Like a rainbow fish would be super cool looking, I think. And that's one of my latest projects. It's just single crochets, increase, decrease. And then I just did a bunch of... Um, for the tail and the fin, I just put my crochet hook in and just did some, it was double crochets in the round and slip stitch and created that. did the same thing here and then I did it over here with like a slip stitch and, and a single crochet in the middle. And then I created this little tail loopy thing on the same side just with um, double crochets in the loopy part. It was super fun to make. Uh, I really liked doing it and I can't wait to make it. A bunch of these fish. Alright, so that is it for my finished projects. I will be chatting with you while I end up crocheting some chocolate for my s'more, for this s'more little guy. I'm going to be making the chocolate topping for it. This is in the color coffee bean. It is paint box yarn, cotton DK yarn, 100% cotton yarn that is. I always try to show you the label, but it never wants to show on there. It's the color coffee brown, coffee bean, which is a dark brown. I really like this dark brown. Out of all the browns of cotton, I think it's super, super pretty. And I'm not even a big brown person, so <laughs> I'm going to be crocheting in the crochet hook C, 2.75 millimeters, uh, Furl's Odyssey hook. My favorite kind of crochet hook to use but I do want to get some polymer clay ones because I think they're super pretty and adorable and I can't wait to order some in the near future. I had a really good weekend and everything. We ended up hanging out with the hubby's family. We ended up just going over there and having dinner. Then we just been spending time with each other. My son wants to go see a museum so I hope to be doing that maybe over the weekend. And uh, me and my son are just hanging out and relaxing around the house. Tomorrow I have a super early appointment, so I do have to wake up early. So I will be um, just talking to you for a few more minutes and then letting all of you go. Due to having to do a bunch of things. And then I just want to just relax for a little and I have to go to bed early due to being up so early tomorrow, but it would be worth it because then I get my appointment done with and over with is why I end up going so early. And it gets it out of the way, to, not to mention that I'm free to hang out with my son and my hubby could then go to work and everything. And usually my hubby would just bring our, our son to school, but um, due to him not having school tomorrow, it was even more important that it was an early appointment so that way the hubby can go to work on time and not be late. So that's what's going on with me tomorrow. I am finishing up a bunch of crochet projects so I cannot wait to show them on my next podcast. I am super excited to do that. I've been updating my Etsy shop slowly but but steadily, I've been uh, slowly just adding a bunch of new um, items in there. I've also been adding some thing, pictures on Instagram um, to show what they look like and everything and what the objects look like that if you've been watching the podcast, they've been on here, but what they look like in a photo, which is even cuter and they're even cuter in person. Oh my goodness. Um, 
So yeah, that's about it that's been going on with me. I do hope to get the blog updated in the next day or so. That's in my plan as well as all my social medias. I am going to be letting you all go now because I do have a bunch of things to do. And like I said, I just want to do a bunch of things and then relax and I have to go to bed early. So I will talk to you all um, again on Friday and on my Walk With Me video. I hope you all have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful day, night, afternoon, no matter where you are from. As always, if you haven't subscribed to me already, please hit the subscribe button down below as well as... Um, if you would like to join me on any of my social medias, you can. They are all linked down below, such as Facebook, Twitter, Blog11, and Instagram. As well as if you would like to follow me and look at my blog, that will be updated in the next few days, hopefully, like I said. And that will be updated a lot more frequently, is the plan. And that is uh, linked down below. As well as if you would like to join the Rob Lee podcast chat. Not a lot is going on right now, but I am planning on having a giveaway soon. As well as having a bunch of other good things go on in there. I will be updating that more frequently as soon as possible. And that is linked down below. And as well as if you would like to email me, you can. That is down below. As well as if you would like to buy anything from my Etsy shop and help support me and my family, that is linked down below. As well as anything else that I have forgotten, that is linked down below. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.